What I love about Instagram is that it's the first natively mobile uh, platform. If you think about what mobile has done, it's done everything, but it's, it's two key things to me that uh, as an advertiser we need to think about. Number one, people always have a screen with them. You know, that's, that's changed, you know, billboards, TV, desktop, where we're going to reach them, they've always got a screen with them. And number two, they've always got a camera with them. And that's just sort of so different to, to any time we've been before. And I feel like Instagram's the first manifestation of, of how that becomes fascinating and world changing. Well, photography is such a rich area for automotive because the history of automotive photography is so substantial and it's been so core to marketing generally, the history of marketing. And there's, there's a lot of cliches and there's a lot of cliches for, for good reason in terms of brochureware that's expected, in terms of the best practices for photographing a car. Um, very often it puts the product at the centre and that's really logical because, you know, at the end of the day that's what people are buying. But what we're finding with this younger consumer is they're actually valuing experiences above things. So the challenge becomes how with this car photography do we make this about lifestyle? How do we make this about the experiences you can have with a car? And then you begin to see how a platform like Instagram, these social platforms just become a no-brainer for tackling that challenge and then just it becomes what's the most intelligent way to do that. GLA Pact came out of one of the most intriguing briefs I've ever got you know, sitting on my desk and that is how do you build excitement for a new car to a new audience when you don't have any cars? So the, the car wasn't coming out to September and we wanted to be in market in the early part of the year winning over a consumer in their early 30s um, who admired Mercedes-Benz but probably thought they'd drive one in 20 years time. We started with what we had to communicate about the GLA and that's that it's a compact SUV. Um, it offers a, a wide range of features, you know, you can use it in the city, you can, can even off-road. So it occurred to us that the type of, uh, the way you might pack for a road trip in the GLA or a particular uh, trip in the GLA could be a really, really interesting sort of story about you and could be really fascinating. So what we created were um, dozens of custom mats, premium beautiful mats that represented the brand and the exact cargo space of the GLA. They had to be small enough so we could roll them up, send them out to influencers and celebrities and, and interesting people and challenge them to think about how they would pack. Uh, for their particular activity or trip in the GLA. Um, at its core, the communication of this campaign was where you're going says a lot, but so does what you take with you. Uh, in total, there were over uh, 20 uh, custom sort of creations from different influencers and celebrities. There was a ton of content created around the campaign and it was really important for us to have diversity and variety. So, you know, everyone from just a very talented Instagram photographer, Daniel Dent, he for the first time showed all of his audience that he was passionate about archery. Then you had somebody who's a celebrity like Ricky Fowler, the golfer, and during a major golfing tournament, he shared about the boys weekend he wanted to have to sort of unwind afterwards. So in terms of working for on Facebook and, and Instagram, I think that right now Instagram, um, and that'll probably change, uh, you know, eventually it always does, feels like a bit more of a blank canvas or a wild west. You know, Facebook is, is very established, you know, brands have had huge successes there, there's, there's a template for reaching an audience in a more immediate way. Now is the time on Instagram to be inventive, to be the first at something, uh, to find a, a new hack or solution or take advantage of a new media product and be the first one there. So I think for any creator team you know you'd be silly not to think about Facebook or you'd be lazy to think that there's nothing else that can be achieved there but on Instagram you've got to get so excited by that white space you know you've got it you've got to think that this is that growing channel that emerging channel where you can make your mark okay.